Well, hey everybody, uh, here we go with another video on the old uh, two by three foot N scale mini layout that I built uh, a couple years ago. Um, I have it back at the house uh, doing some repair work. I have it back from the client who purchased this layout about one year ago to repair some street lights. Actually, I had started this repair a couple of months ago, um, but uh, I couldn't finish it until I had some of the parts that I needed. Uh, effectively, what had happened is, is that a couple of the street lights effectively died. The, the, the LEDs themselves didn't go bad, but some of the wiring connections did. And so, and because I was a little bit lazy when I first wired these up and I had wired the street lights in series in groups of four, um, you know, when one of those connections went bad, you know, a whole group of the, the lights went out. So eventually the, the problem was, was that all the street lights had gone out on her. So I went through and I rewired every single light up uh, individually to its own resistor to a, into the direct connection to the power. And uh, it turns out that two of these lights were bad. This one here, which I already took off, and this light right here. Now, again, the LEDs themselves were uh, were not bad. It was just the the thin wires connecting the LEDs to the uh, power supply that uh, had caused the problem. Um, you know, somehow just putting them through. You know, I, I had uh, scraped up the wires a little bit, and there was a intermittent shorts that were happening and so occasionally the lights would come on occasionally they'd be off and, and you know so it's one of those kind of problems and so I have to redo a couple of the lights and rewire them so I've already gone ahead and taken off this one I'll go ahead and take off this one which is the other one that no longer works and uh, put in some new street lights and that was the main thing I had to wait for was that I had ordered these uh, again from China and they took uh, over a month to get here in this case and, uh, and I didn't have time the last several weeks and so here I am now trying to do this repair project. So uh, basically just kind of video here what I'm doing. Um, the whole idea here is just to take these lights off. I'm going to effectively see what wire I can use and what wire I can't on, the, on this project and uh, wire up the new lights, put them, glue them back in place, and hopefully things will be a go for quite some time. Again, now all these lights are wired individually to their own resistors, to you know, directly to the power supply. So. Um, you know, going forward, it'll just be a matter of, you know, one going out or something like that. If it happens again, I won't have a whole series of lights go out, uh, you know, at one time because of, you know, one light in the series having a bad connection. So, but, but it is a problem with these little, little lights is that they do have those very tiny wires and, uh, you know, it's very easy to scrape the insulation off those, just pulling them through, you know, a hole or just, you know, kind of getting them, you know, wrapped around you know, various parts of the layout to get to the power supply and uh, one small nick of an insulation and next thing you know you have a, a small short and then you know your, your lights aren't working so it is uh, we're going to give it a go and see what happens. Okay so again I'm not sure exactly where the short is here my uh, two assumptions are that it was either uh, near the actual LED itself um, since that was flickering and it's possible that the wires in this little tiny in this little tiny uh, LED head where um, uh, it was just a bad connection in there, or it was uh, somewhere farther down um, to where I had actually connected the wires to uh, a larger set of wires underneath here. So I'm gonna start and just see if I can go ahead and connect a new light directly to these leads here and see if it lights. Okay, so now I'm going to try to get another light wired up over here and I can solder those two together and okay, so both of these street lights now work and so now I'll go ahead and solder these connections try to insulate them the best I can and get the lights reinstalled and then we will have a completed or and we will once again have a working set of street lights. Okay, so we're going to try to use the, the liquid tape to insulate these wires. Now I'm going 
once you let that dry and then come back a little later and add on a second coat of the liquid tape maybe a third one um, just to make sure I have good coverage and then once that's done I'm going to attempt at least to uh, work the wires back through the holes that are um, in the layout and get everything kind of wrapped up neatly as I can on the underside and hopefully prevent any snags that might cause future tearing of those wires. So. So I have the, the street light there, as well as the one down here, uh, now installed. So we do, in fact, if I get down here, so now we do, in fact, it's hard to see with the, with the, during the daytime, but all the street lights are, in fact, now working once again. Um, so that issue there is solved. It's hard to see underneath the layout here, but there is a whole bunch of wires, and these little wires right here go to the one light, and then uh, I have these wires here going to the other light. And so I need to get those attached up towards the top and uh, hopefully made so they won't get snagged by hands and trains and yanked out to where it will need to be fixed again. Okay, so the current plan is I'm gonna use some cardboard um, just from a, a box and uh, cut that into thin strips, take the hot glue gun, add some hot glue to it, and then add the strips of cardboard to the underside of the layout here, which you can't see a whole lot of, but basically uh, just essentially cover up some of those wires with the uh, strips of glue and or with the strips of cardboard to help uh, keep them safe from hands and other things that might be going inside of here uh, you know causing problems so okay so i've cut uh, these strips of cardboard into various lengths and i'll go ahead and add some glue on each one of those and kind of just stick them up in there and hopefully get a lot of those wires covered up uh, and then hopefully that'll stay up there uh, pretty securely with the hot glue and then uh, protect the wires from any, you know, any accidental, accidental damage going okay, forward. So it's hard to see, but I added a couple strips of cardboard here. Uh, you can see uh, this one this one right up there, another one farther back. And uh, that seems to be working pretty well, so keeping those wires in place. And I'll go ahead and add some more over here and get out everything tucked up as best as I can. Okay, so one last look at the layout again before I return it to the client later on today. Um, also went through and cleaned up the track and uh, patched up a few little areas where there were some nicks in the paint um, on the tunnel portals and, and different you know, different little spots. So overall got it back into a little bit better shape than what I got it in. And so hopefully the client will uh, be pleased with everything working properly once again. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, I won't have to fix anything again in the future. But, but anyway, just want to give you a quick update on this layout that Came back briefly for some repairs. Uh, everything for the most part is in really good shape about, about as it was when I sold it to the client last year. And so it is always fun to see a layouts like this come back. This is, this is probably my most favorite layout that I've ever built, uh, just because it does have a lot of complexity to the, to the terrain and, and just multiple levels and everything. And so it is kind of a fun layout and I did really enjoy building it. So it is fun to have it come back, even if only for a day or so to fix it. But uh, anyway, um, just a quick update on this uh, project layout from a couple years ago. And anyway, that's all for now, and thanks for watching. Bye.